3D printing is something I've been entirely addicted to over the last six months, but for what I would argue is a pretty good reason. It's incredibly useful. The barrier of entry has become super, super low. In fact, I would argue that now is actually the perfect time to get into 3D printing. The fact that you can have a problem, think of a solution, and then turn that solution into reality within an afternoon is just mind blowing to me. For example, this is one of the first things that I ever made. It's a coffee knock box. It's used for prepping things like espresso and whatnot, all entirely 3D printed. Now, of course, this was my first time 3D modeling, so there were some imperfections and bad design choices. And yeah, you could argue that you could go out and buy this for a hundred bucks, but the concept of being able to create a custom model of something you want and print it out for a much cheaper material cost instantly got me hooked. But that being said, where do you get started? I mean, how do you not only narrow down what printer to get, but then how do you get up and running? Well, I think it only makes sense to start with the printers. Now, while Bamboo Lab does offer a large variety of printers, I do think that the A1 series is the perfect go-to for beginners. They're extremely reliable. They're the most affordable models that Bamboo Lab offers. And I can say that with firsthand experience because Bamboo Lab sent us out the A1 and A1 mini to test out. Now, both are pretty awesome. The A1, of course, has a larger printing area and the Assembly takes about 20 minutes, super straightforward, and then you're ready to print. And then there's also the A1 Mini, which arrives nearly fully assembled right out of the box. Its incredibly compact design is perfect for either smaller projects or maybe if you're working with a smaller space in general. Both are stacked with features though. You have an incredibly easy to use user interface. Both have cameras for monitoring prints or taking time lapses. You have active motor noise cancellation for quieter prints, auto bed leveling, and of course, multicolor print support with the AMS light, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Now, once once you get these set up, you'll of course have to decide what filament you want to use. While there are a ton of filament types out there worth exploring, PLA is extremely easy to use. It offers great print quality and versatility, and it's one of the most popular filament types out there, which not only makes it readily available, but also pretty affordable as well. I personally love the look of Bamboo Labs PLA mat, but it's totally personal preference. And also a lot of the time it depends on what you're printing. So take it on a case by case basis. But for now, I would definitely start with PLA. All right, so you got your printer set up and now you have your filament loaded. How do you actually print stuff? Like what even is that process? Well, this is also where Bamboo Lab makes things incredibly easy. For starters, if you just wanna test your printer out to make sure everything's working properly, there are actually a bunch of preloaded files on the printer itself. But hands down, my favorite way to find prints is through the community showing off their projects on Maker World. You can think of Maker World as just a giant free marketplace for searching and downloading prints. You can focus are things by what's trending, what the most downloaded prints are. There's also a ton of predefined categories to scroll through as well. They even have a ton of fun contests where you can upload a design that fits that contest theme for a chance to win Bamboo Lab gift cards. Honestly, I find myself just scrolling on Maker World a lot for fun just to see what projects people are working on. But once you've found something to print, it's as simple as importing it into Bamboo Studio on your computer or just hitting prepare to print right on the app and you can step through the process and get to printing in a matter of seconds. Also, you don't actually have to be near your printer to do any this. All you have to be is logged into your Bamboo Lab app, and then you can start a print entirely remotely. And while there are so many options when it comes to 3D printing, it might feel a little overwhelming trying to pick a project. Like I said before, one of the best things about 3D printing is using it to solve problems. For example, I've been trying to organize things here in the studio. I mean, it's absolutely bursting at the seams here, but after doing a bit of searching for organizers, I came across the Gridfinity system. Now, this is basically a modular storage system where you print out these base grids and then custom containers to go on top. And these containers can vary in length, width, height, just based on what you need to store. And the community support behind this project is just absolutely insane. I mean, there are tons of different custom bins out there, ranging from things like organizing tools to cables to watch bands, SD cards, batteries. I mean, the list just goes on and on. But to me, this is a perfect example of just how useful 3D printing can be. But to that point, the problem solving doesn't have to be straightforward. It can also be super niche. For example, I've been playing a ton of racing games lately, and I've been using this steering wheel right here, but it just doesn't have that racing feel that I'm going for. So I did a bit of searching on Maker World to see if anybody else had come up with some sort of custom wheel to use with the wheelbase that I have. And sure enough, I found an F1 style steering wheel that you could just print out. And one afternoon of printing and a bit of deconstruction and construction later, 
I mean, it's incredible. But to that point, 3D printing doesn't have to be all problem solving based all the time. There's actually a ton of really fun things that you can 3D print. And I also think this is where the AMS light that we talked about earlier really shines. Now, AMS just stands for automated material system. And the AMS light allows you to have up to four filament types loaded at once, enabling you to do multicolored prints. For example, I came across this Monstera coaster plant and I really liked how the leaves used a ton of different colors in the design. So we can just load up the colors that we want into the AMS make sure everything's assigned properly in Bamboo Studio and queue it up. And the A1 printers will automatically load and unload the filament, switching constantly to achieve this multicolor print. Now for this print, I decided to multitask a bit and let the A1 Mini handle the solid color things like the plant pot and the soil on the inside, while the A1 was doing the multicolored things like the leaves and the stems but the A1 Mini is just as capable of doing multicolor things as the A1. And being able to print with a ton of different colors at once just makes things so much more fun. For example, I also did a fun project where I printed this mega Lego-like figure to hold onto a rope that was holding my door from blowing open. Just a fun, silly project, but I think just being able to do this whole thing in multiple colors, like this face, for example, with the eyes and the mouth, just really brought this whole thing to life. Also, while we're on the subject of fun prints, I recently made this Millennium Falcon mouse that's fully functional using the Bamboo Lab mouse kit. You basically print out the shell and then use the internals from the mouse kit to turn it into a functioning mouse. There are a ton of cool other projects on Maker Supply though. For example, there's this lamp kit where you can print out all the parts and then use the lamp kit to make it into a functioning lamp. So I highly encourage you to check out Maker Supply and browse all the cool kits that they have if that sounds interesting to you. Now, once you get the hang of your printer, you might be feeling inspired to go out and make your own custom models. And this is where it opens up an entirely new world of possibilities. For example, Scott Yuan and Overwork recently collaborated to make this iPhone standby dock, a really cool project that lets you charge your phone in standby mode and also your AirPods in the back. It also has this satisfying ejection button to take your phone out. And I just think the overall design looks incredibly cool. All printed on the A1 mini. Now I would highly, highly recommend going and checking out Scott's channel. If you're at all interested in 3D printing content, his stuff is incredible, borderline magic sometimes. And I think this project is the perfect example of the possibilities that 3D printing can enable. What's also cool is on top of this design being free to print on Maker World, this is also again where the community aspect really shines through. Several people from the community have taken this design and reworked it to work with a ton of different phones, which I just think is a really awesome thing. Now, while I'm not on Scott's level when it comes to design, I've also been trying to learn a bit myself about 3D modeling. And I recently made this tripod holder. It hooks right onto my pegboard and it allows me to store my tripod nicely when I'm not using it. Now, it took me a couple of revisions to get to a spot where everything was working nicely. But the nice thing is once you have a 3D model that you're happy with, Bamboo Lab Slicer has a ton of features in place to help you take that 3D model and actually print it successfully. Things like automatic support generation in areas that might need it, auto orienting the model in the best position for printing, and then some other prep tools that show you exactly how much material is gonna be used in what areas and exactly how long the print is gonna take. But let's say you have no clue how to 3D model. Well, Bamboo Lab also has something called Maker Lab, which lets you use OpenSCAD to quickly create custom models without any modeling skills. For example, if I wanted to create a custom nameplate, it's a simple as opening up this section, modifying the values to whatever you want and downloading it and printing it out. And this is a really awesome gateway to eventually 3D modeling something entirely on your own. And look, at the end of all this, if you're still not sure where to get started, Bamboo Lab recently launched a user case page which showcases a ton of different printing possibilities all in one area. It even has some really good content examples of what other people are creating. So it's a fun place to browse while you're trying to come up with ideas. And of course, if you wanna check out any of the printers that I talked about in this video or any of the other Bamboo Lab printers that they offer for that matter, it's all linked in my bio. And with that being said, good luck on your printing journey. Of course, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.